How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before I start this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any qu comments, leave it in the questions below. Uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, and uh, also our community forums.upfix.com. Uh, we have large, you know, community discussion. People posting all kinds of questions for anything related with electronic automotive repairs. Uh, so let's get started with the questions. Today we're going to be talking about mileage correction, mileage programming, odometer correction, basically all meaning the same thing. Uh, so we're going to go over a few questions and then go from there. Uh, what is a mileage correction by Upfix? So basically a mileage correction is if let's say you have an instrument cluster and the digital odometer that stores how much mileage your vehicle has already driven needs to be changed or, or adjusted. There's a few scenarios that I'll kind of uh, cover and uh, basically uh, the question of you know what is mileage correction programming uh, it depends on the year making model but essentially if your odometer um, let's say your instrument cluster went bad um, or it's fire damage or water damage or you purchased a replacement body control module because yours is not at, you know uh, storing information correctly uh, basically, the mileage correction service will be required when you buy a replacement, any kind of replacement unit, especially the instrument cluster, because most often of the times, uh, actually, the mileage is stored inside the instrument cluster. So when you buy one off eBay or use one off the junkyard, you put it in your vehicle, chances are now you have a, somebody else's mileage in your vehicle that's not original to your vehicle, uh, so it won't reflect correctly. So that's what we uh, do is we basically, uh, basically clone over or copy over what mileage you have on the original vehicle and uh, pretty much put it on the replacement that you purchased and then you send to us. Is it possible to roll back or roll forward? So the answer is yes. We can uh, basically adjust the mileage to let's say a higher increment than what you purchased it at. If you buy one with you know lower mileage, way lower than your than your what your vehicle actually has, uh, we can put the correct mileage with, whether it's going up or down, we can do it. Um, there's also a difference between analog and digital. Um, so basically with analog is if you actually have gears and it's rolling. And uh, with a digital, it can be on an LCD screen, it can be under the speedometer, it can be under the tachometer, it can be on the center info display in the lower right corner or top corner. Wherever you see it says ODO or odometer, that's basically the odometer for your vehicle um, that reflects you know, how many miles the engine has traversed. So essentially, uh, we don't need your original cluster. So let's say for some, if for some reason you sent a unit in for repair and we weren't able to repair it and you say, what's next? What do I do? Um, you know, you can purchase a replacement used one and I'm going to explain to you the benefits of that um, versus going to, let's say, the dealership. Uh, you, you, you buy a used instrument cluster, you verify that it works and that's a very important step. Don't forget to make sure that it works in your vehicle before you send it to us um, because we've had a lot of customers, you know, sometimes send us directly from a junkyard and not verify if it works or not. And we have to, you know, call them and say, hey, this thing is not powering up or, hey, did you make sure it works in your vehicle? Because uh, don't forget, guys, that a lot of these instrument clusters and body control modules and EZSs and EWSs, they all are, for the most part, VIN encoded. So there's an immobilizer. It detects that it's part of the network that's meant for your vehicle. Um, if your part's not original, definitely notify us. Uh, for certain cars that we uh, know are going to have an issue with, on our website, we actually will ask you that question. Is your vehicle original or is your instrument cluster original to your vehicle so that we can basically verify the VIN number, make sure everything matches. Uh, but that's why it's an important step to make sure that you verify that your replacement works in your car, starts up, no other issues, part numbers match or are interchangeable. And that way you can send it to us and all we do is just simply change the values of the odometer to match the original. Uh, we don't need the, uh, the original to clone it. Uh, we basically can just adjust the values of the replacement. Um, so we'll, on our website, you will know exactly what to send us. So let's say you got a Toyota Corolla instrument cluster and you're replacing your instrument cluster for whatever reason. Um, and basically, or you replaced your engine and now you need your original cluster to reflect that mileage um, basically, we only need the replacement. If for some reason you have, um, let's say, a BMW or a Mercedes-Benz, a lot of those vehicles do require a secondary unit because the mileage is stored in more than one place. Um, and we usually have pictures for every single year-making model 
what your secondary unit might look like. So it's a uh, body control module, EWS, uh, BMWs like to use EWS and CAS, and FEM module. Mercedes like to use the EZS or EIS, electronic ignition switch. Um, and a lot of domestic vehicles use body control modules, BCM. So I'm gonna, I have a few examples behind me. In a minute, I'm going to show you what those look like. Um, but on the website, when in doubt, you're trying to purchase a mileage calibration programming service on our website, uh, just visit the exact year, make, and model that you have. And it'll show you in the pictures and in the description exactly what we need for us to be able to program your unit. Um, so that's basically essentially covers what the mileage pr uh, correction is and why you would want to typically buy a replacement. And the reason for that being is, is that uh, dealerships won't program a used instrument cluster. So they, and it's for warranty purposes, you know, and, and it's understandable why they wouldn't want to program a used one before you can save thousands or hundreds of dollars uh, on a uh, instrument cluster. You know, let's say you buy one off eBay for a hundred bucks and, uh, and all you need to do is just get it programmed to your vehicle. Well, a dealership's not going to do that because they can't warranty that instrument cluster and ensure that it works because they don't know the condition of that instrument cluster. It could be bad, it could be, you know, mismatch or something. Um, so what they do is they'll basically get your VIN number information, they'll go to the database, see what part number supersedes that um, or is interchangeable with that instrument cluster that you originally had and they'll basically purchase a brand new one for you and you have to pay for it and then, then they program it. They only program brand new instrument clusters, they won't program a used one. So that's one thing to consider as far as why you'd want to get a mileage correction service on a used unit where combined with the purchase of replacement and mileage correction, you still save hundreds if not thousands of dollars versus buying brand new one from the dealership. Uh, so keep that in mind. And signs that your odometer may have been tampered with. So um, it's hard to tell when something has been already adjusted because it's basically software updates that we're doing to the instrument cluster or BCM. And essentially, when you are sending a new unit in, we program it and unless you're opening the unit back up and finding out exactly what, what's going on, it's going to be very hard to tell whether or not your instrument cluster or BCM was programmed to begin with. However, there is one way you can tell um, if a vehicle has ever had mileage correction adjusted um, via Carfax. So let's say, for example, you, you know, this car is, throughout its whole life has been going to Jiffy Loop, getting oil changes. and you have mileage 50,000, 75,000, 100,000, and then all of a sudden, three months later, um, the latest previously recorded mileage at the oil shop was 100,000, now you have 95. Well, it will permanently uh, change the record of the Carfax to where it says a giant red X, the mileage may not be true or accurate. And that doesn't go away or clear up on the Carfax or the history of the vehicle, so keep that in mind. Um, because anytime you take your car for a vehicle service, um, they are, you know, by law required to basically store the mileage that it came in with. So if you take your car to a tire shop, auto shop, dealership, uh, they will store that mileage. And basically, if anybody tries to go below that interval, well, now you know that now it's been tampered with. So that's one of the preventative measures. Um, and knowing the Carfax history, whether or not a vehicle has been tampered with odometer wise. Um, now, if we have disclaimers on our website when you sign um, that you know you have to disclose by law if you are basically selling the instrument or the vehicle that you the potential new customer is aware that uh, the instrument cluster whether it's the original or the replacement was actually uh, serviced with the mileage correction service uh, programming so they're aware that you purchased a replacement, it was programmed, and you have the paperwork to verify that because if you sell an, uh, a vehicle undisclosing uh, that the mileage was actually adjusted, the legality issues can ensue. So definitely watch out for that. You don't want to get in trouble by all means. So that's why we have a disclaimer. So you have a physical record copy of, you know, that you had it adjusted, and then you can show, you know, if you ever sell the vehicle to somebody else that, hey, this was adjusted. Um, this is the reason why, and uh, etc. So, as far as uh, our disclaimers, everything is digital. So you'll probably receive a text message or email or both, uh, and basically it's as simple as putting in the year, make, and model, 
um, and essentially the recurrent mileage and the requested. Uh, and then you would sign the disclaimer at the bottom. Now, an important note as far as disclaimers is to make sure that you do fill out the year, make, and model information on the disclaimer um, and also what current mileage you have and how much you want so we can see exactly. Obviously, we're powering up. We can confirm on these units, but you know, if we uh, don't have some of the information or you know, it's not signed, or you know it, the year making model is missing we will most likely reject the disclaimer so you can fill that out again uh, and the reason being for this is because if we don't have your signature we don't know what car it's for what if somebody sends in three clusters at the same time or three units and they have a disclaimer saying i want this much and all of a sudden we don't know which vehicle that's for so it's very important to make sure you fill out every information you can on the disclaimer in order to avoid any kind of unexpected delays on your order uh, full and complete uh, disclaimer, it would mean your information, your make and model, the current mileage, the requested mileage, and last but not least, your signature. If for some reason the order, um, for example, the disclaimer was not assigned correctly, uh, what we would do on our back end as technicians would be to reject the disclaimer and notify you via email or text saying, hey, this one needs to be refilled out. You don't have to place another order, rest assured. Uh, the link will be sent to you via email and text messages saying please sign the disclaimer and you'll get that information again to sign once we get that amended or updated new disclaimer we'll work off of that and know that this one's already been corrected um, I'm going to show you right now behind what we have here and um, just a few units so this right here is a Nissan Versa 2015 so this one right here is just on the website if you type in Nissan Versa in the search bar you'll see that pretty much it says odometer correction instrument clusters required only so this is what it looks like if you only need to send your instrument cluster um, definitely we need to you know check out uh, our website what we require for the most part it will be just instrument cluster but there are exceptions where we need more than one piece so in that case we have here a, a unit here two units actually so this is the body control module and it also has fuses on the back of it and it controls a lot of the functions in the vehicle so it's very important part one of the big brains of the vehicle and they also have the instrument cluster here so this is from a pontiac solstice 2007 and uh essentially the mileage the way it works is um, you know your vehicle has a network communication all the devices speak to each other so sensors speak to the ecu different modules talk to each other and say hey we don't recognize this unit it's not from this car it's a different part number, a different VIN. And all of a sudden, you might have issues or conflicts and the car might not start. Uh, so the way we do it is when we program it, uh, the body control module has to match the mileage of exactly what's in the cluster as well. If there's a mismatch or it's not synchronized, then you might get dashes or the odometer might not roll at all. And so it'll be stuck at whatever mileage it's displaying. And we've seen customers you know, do that where they're unaware that a secondary unit is also uh, storing the mileage, they replace just the BCM, thinking, oh, I just, you know, BCM, I have issues with power lock windows, the, uh, you know, um, some of the controls or whatever in the vehicle is not working, I'm gonna replace this, and think, not knowing that it's not just stored here, so when they go in the vehicle, they're driving it, all of a sudden the mileage is showing dashes, and they're like, wait a second, what's going on? And so, in situations like this, uh, for this kind of uh, particular year making model, we would ask on the website, is this original or is one of these parts not original? And if the answer is yes, then you definitely want to provide us the VIN number, which is going to be 17 digits or 17 characters. And if we don't have it, we'll probably put on hold or there might be some expected delays if we don't have that information because, again, both these units have to be synchronized. The mileage has to be identical. Otherwise, again, there could be issues as far as the dash or uh, in if the one of these parts are not original, we will need that VIN to make sure the VINs match because the mileage can match, but if the VIN number and the mobilizer is not matching up, then you'll still have that issue. So that's why replacements, it's always good to confirm that it works on your end first before you send to us. And if you already know that it's not working because it's a replacement, definitely provide us the VIN number so we can basically synchronize these two units up. Um, so that pretty much covers what units look like in a vehicle what you might need to pull. And again, if you have one of these kind of instrument clusters, there will be a picture of this body control module 
on the website as well so you can see uh, this is exactly what I need to send in along with this unit um, it's not the end of the world if we only get one or the other sometimes we get somebody assuming oh I just need to send the cluster and then we put on a hold saying hey we also need the body control module so definitely check that out it's on the website any single unit that you are looking for it'll show exactly what you need to send in um, so yeah that pretty much covers everything as far as mileage correction programming if you uh, have any questions or concerns leave in the comments below and um, yeah thanks for watching hopefully you guys can join our forum upfix community again that's uh, forum.upfix.com we have plenty of people over there asking all kinds of questions uh, join and just uh, see if there's anything relevant or helpful or useful to you and um, again like and subscribe follow us on facebook tiktok instagram and we'll see you next time